Okay, hello my good friends. Yes, the jet drive. Uh, what is it? It's a water jet propulsion unit. Does it sound like I've just read that out? <laughs> yes, now some videos are very slick showing rubbish product. My videos are rubbish showing a very slick product. Now that's a nice turn round, isn't it, on the improvisations. The jet drive, yeah, it's been ready for a bit now, but I've been having to uh, try and source out the reliable, uh, low-cost budget uh, electronic setup so that we, we can afford to get out there and have a, a run for a fraction of the price, about an eighth of the price of what it's normally going to cost you to get up to uh, 30 plus kilometres an hour. So yes, it's a carbon fibre reinforced composite. If you want to be rude, you can call it plastic, but I like to call it an epoxy uh, resin. Yeah, oh, what's the other word we can use for it? What are they called? Polymer. String polymer based. Anyway, synergy. Uh, when you put two products together and the two products are actually stronger than the combined strength of the components on their own, this is what we've got. I don't know if to just take one out and put a car over it right now for a laugh. Should we? scratches. It's an old Demick piece that, but yeah, lovely. Put a car over it. Oh, my back tyre's seized up, have it? Yeah. Okay, that uh, seems to work all right. There's no stress fractures in it. It's a very old uh, test piece, one of the first ones out of the mall, so I've not damaged anything worth anything. Although, yeah, you could use it, but no, I wouldn't put my name to uh, letting something like that out for sale. So, yeah, stress testing wise, is lovely. It's taken far too much of the show up. Get out. Uh, I need to sort my disc brakes out. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get them off tomorrow. The guy who will get all my tools off, he's on holiday. So I'll have to uh, try fiddling about, maybe with a spoon or something. Maybe a couple... <laughs> don't know. Uh, so yes, lovely. Uh, some of the dimensions, if we can get back on track. Uh, inside the boat, you're going to need, space-wise for the jet drive, we'll just go on the inches, Imperial. Just about eight and a quarter inches, just under eight and a quarter, is it? Yeah. Millimeters. Between 205 and 210. 205 and 210 millimeters, which is 21 centimeters. Width wise, you can take a bit off these landings if you need to pull them in into a tighter space. Three and a quarter 
inch. About three and a quarter. It's about eighty-three. Eighty-three width. But you can take a little bit of this landing off, but I've left a load on uh, so we get a good bind. Uh, you could also bolt these down if you want to. I like to glue them. Uh, so there's the dimensions on the inside. A uh, little grease port, as we said before. I'll give you some uh, a, a tube. Uh, it's only a two milli one, but I'll give you a five milli tube with some marine grease in, and you can load that up yourself. Uh, there's also some grommets, which little plugs that you can put in. I'll put them in a bag, but you put those in there for when you're gluing, gluing it in. And then once you've glued it in, you can pull them out and it'll keep all the rubbish out of the thread that's already on the nut. And just, yeah, it's alright. Uh, motor size wise, I've been using a 50, about a 52, I think it is, 53, I don't know. But you can get 70 millimetres can diameter in there uh, well be cutting that right down short so that we can get that coupler in uh, the couplers yeah I've done a little bit of uh, bit of work on them and I've come up with a nice softer uh, piece to go in between them which reduces the sound and vibration a lot the other one is a very hard poly I'm sure somebody will be guessing what it's made out of and maybe making a few quid out of it but not telling them that I give them the idea or where they got it from because that's the world's full of bandits uh, so yeah that's about the jet drive uh, three inches is the height uh, the boxes that I've got and I've been making are five inches high uh, that's because I like to put a cooling fan over the top of the motor but I will be doing some boxes which are only three uh, just over three inches high uh, so that you can have them flush with the board a lot better uh, but it will mean putting your batteries probably in another compartment a little bit further up the board flush uh, but you could have more capacity battery and longer run time uh, as I say you should be able to fit a good 60 65 millimeter with a good bit it takes 70 mil so any larger uh, Outrunner, I'm sure it'll give you a, a longer performance run without this is quite a hot setup and if you get a bigger uh, motor I'm sure it'll stay cooler for longer but we have tried to keep it as cheap as chips uh, yeah just a few guide holes on the bottom there which you can drill out if you decide to put the bars in which is something you're going to do once it's fitted so they'll just let you know where everything is and that is about it I think there's nothing else to report yeah, it was hijacked by the uh, dodgy tyre, dodgy uh, disc brakes on the car. So yeah, I hope you found that informative. I'm sorry for keeping you and boring you to death. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Alright, wishing you all the very best buddies. Have a cracking night. Take it easy. Toodaloo.